let, let's say for instance, look at your arms. Look how long they are. You know, are you born with that, or did you work out to have those? No, born, of course. You're born, right? They're they're that they're, they're that length. Your arteries and your heart are the same thing. Some people's arteries are bigger than others. Okay. More arter bigger the artery, the bigger the 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 more blood, the more blood, the more oxygen, right? Now your arteries after two years, if if I took you to a track, okay, if I took you to a sprint track, and I made you sprint. After, your, your, your arteries will literally get bigger and bigger because they're saying, hey, we need to pump in more blood, right? But these arteries can only stretch so big so far. After two years, you can sprint every day, twice a day, five times a week. Your arteries will not get bigger. Your VO2 max has plateaued. That's it. So VO2 max is, a, is not the only uh, um, factor in endurance, but it's a major factor. It's definitely a major factor. Now, just by observation, I estimated George's VO2 max to be above the normal. Now, one day, we took him to sports science lab, and they tested his VO2 max with the machine. And lo and behold, he has a 25% larger VO2 max than a natural normal athlete. Normal athlete, not normal person. Mm -hmm. So that is a significant margin. So if I made him do a lot of endurance, I would have been wasting my time. Now, I've tried to explain this phenomenon to George, but he doesn't really catch on. So he tells me, <laughs> I don't believe in endurance. It's bullshit. I see those guys running the track. They're fucking dumb. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'm like, George, that guy, he needs it. You don't. You just don't understand why. It's hard for me to explain it to you. But if you have a natural VO2 max, it's genetic. You can run on the treadmill quite comfortably for a long period of time. This is genetic. Now, I'm not going to waste my time making you do laps around the track. But for instance, if you gave me a guy like, I don't know, like give me a, like a Vitor Belfort, let's say, you know, a guy who does really well in round one but starts to slow down. Well, guess what? Him, I would want him on the track more regularly. Because the first thing your body does to increase endurance is it increases VO2 max. After that, it starts to remove lactic acid at a faster rate. Your body actually gets good at, at, at removing lactic acid. It's a skill. And thirdly, the, the, the next step where you can... So once you've maxed out your VO2 max, once you've maxed out removing lactic acid, the last step is teaching your athlete to relax. People learn to do things more efficiently. And if you've ever seen somebody who learns how to box, they're throwing their punches, they seem robotic and very tight. After a year, their punches are much faster and more loose. Did they change the muscle fiber makeup? No. They just learn to relax the muscles that are antagonist to the propelling muscles. So for instance, when you throw a punch, your tricep is propelling your arm forward, your bicep only pulls your arm back. So if you throw your, it's like having your foot on the gas and brake at the same time. If you throw your jab and you're clinching your bicep, you're slowing down your jab. Your, your, your bicep is the brake. So that's why you see like a guy who has his hand down when he's boxing. It's not because he's too dumb to protect his face. It's because when you have your down, hand down, it relaxes your bicep, right? Because when you hold your hand up, you turn on your bicep. So when you turn on your bicep, it's harder to throw punches because your brakes are off. So when you lower your hands, you can get more velocity because the brakes are off. So lo and behold, after you've done these three things, you're maxing out your, your endurance potential. Now, there are other factors. I'm just giving you the big three. There are other factors. Okay? So anybody out there who's an expert hearing this, say, hey, he forgot one or two factors. I'm leaving them out because I want to put this in a nutshell because we can have a lecture on this all night long. <laughs> so if I want to build endurance, I would go down that avenue. Now, 